Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you a program I created in Visual Studio. This is a second graphing calculator to uh, meant to replace the previous one. This one here, uh, it works well. It's just kind of annoying to learn how to use. There's a lot of buttons over here and they all have their functionality, but if you don't know what they mean, uh, you know, times pi divided by pi, uh, it's just kind of annoying to learn how to use. So I decided I could do better and I have created this one here. In this video I'm just going to be showing you how to do things with a very 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 broad scope. Um, nothing in a lot of detail. If you want more explanation about how to perform certain functions I'll provide links to some other YouTube videos in the description and the download to this program is also in the description as well as the source code so feel free to download that. That being said, um, this window is capable of being resized. The graphing region will reset itself to whatever you want. Um, you can slide this little red bar back and forth to give you more space with certain areas of the program. To graph a function all you need to do is type it in there, hit the enter key and it will graph it for you. You can zoom around there and to do a calculation all you gotta do again type it in. It will be able to distinguish between graphing and calculation. So that is that. Uh, to create a variable just type in a letter, hit the colon and then set that to whatever you want. Hit enter and it will put all your variables down there for you so you can now use that in another equation and there it is so I've calculated that 34 divided by 2 is equal to 17 works well uh, one more thing that I'd like to point out is that there's finally a degree mode or radian mode so that can be incredibly handy it was so annoying to use um, to be stuck in radian mode in this program here because I only had a radian mode. So if you like degree mode you can do that and then you can evaluate your sign of whatever and it will uh, work out for you depending on what mode you're in. I've also improved the fraction mode quite a bit. I'm not going to use that in this video. If you want to see that check it out in uh, one of my other videos. Other than that, uh, I think that's all I'm going to show you for today. Again, this program is much more powerful, works a lot better, everything is just, I don't know, better. <laughs>